Hey, what's up there, YouTube? It's Heiner GOG, or Lloyd, whatever you choose to call me. Um, uh, started rock hounding, uh, when I was a kid, here and there. Didn't do a lot, because, uh, you know, didn't have a lot of opportunity to get out there and find this stuff. But, uh, in raising seven boys, um, you spend a lot of time out there in the wilderness and hikes, and, um, recently, I found a couple of nice little items. Um, actually, I purchased a couple of nice little items which just makes me want to get out there and find more. One of the things that I purchased was, uh, take a look at this little box here, let me see. This is just a piece of jade, but it's a nice little piece. It's kind of hard to see on the camera, I don't know how well it's going to turn out. But anyways, I've got a bunch of these little things in here. I love collecting, love it. But recently I started going out with my little hammer and stuff. It's a nice little piece of tourmaline, bicolored tourmaline. Don't know how well that's coming out. Doesn't seem to be all that clear. Anyways, went out with, uh, for a bike ride the other day and ended up running into one of my sons who claimed before this day that he had no interest in rock hounding. But I guess by fluke chance of luck, he went down one of the old trails we used to go to when they were smaller and saw something sticking out of a rock and decided to take another rock and start smashing at it. Um, I'm really glad he did, because uh, surprising enough just to run into him out there, let alone finding him doing this stuff. Um, made me sit down, he said, here dad, come sit down, I got something I want to give you, which kind of surprised me, because like I said, he had zero interest in rock counting before, I guess, the other day. So he walked up, and I sat down, and then he showed me this, and he proceeded to hand it to me. I'm not sure how well you can see it. it. Looks like it might be blurry on my camera, I'm really hoping it's not. But... I'm not sure. At first, I thought it was. Uh, at first, I thought it was an amethyst. Maybe a little farther back would be better. Yeah. At first, like I said, I thought it was amethyst. I got a hold of a fellow on YouTube that I've been watching a lot of his stuff. That's Cadaver 461. The guy's lucky. He gets to go up <laughs> all those places up in Bancroft and whatnot. And I'm doing a ride this summer, so we'll see. I'm going to be heading up that way. I'm going to drive my mountain bike and trailer back through Pembroke into, uh, well, back through Quebec, through Pembroke into Ontario, and then home. I'm going to rock hound along the way through Bancroft, Wilberforce, Harcourt. Check out a couple spots that I've been to when I was younger. See what I can find. Because this cadaver fellow, or Michael, he uh, he's found some beautiful items that just, they're just so intriguing. So anyways, these two fit together, I believe. I did find how they fat, or fat, how they were able to go back together. That's kind of really neat. So now I don't really believe it's amethyst. I believe it's more like fluorite. Um, I'm going to describe to uh, the fellow Michael there on YouTube. He said it could be fluorite because apparently in the uh, Niagara Falls or Niagara region there's been no amethyst found. So he seems to know what he's talking about. So, But this is some weird stuff. This here is uh, almost like a black, but it's not really black. When I hold it up into light, I don't know if. Oh, there you go. You can see through it. It's somewhat translucent. I think that's the right word. And it has a, a goldish hue to it. It's really nice. Under the right light, it just, just stands right out. So here's a few more that I also found in that same spot. Because I started digging with Raymond all day long. We dug and dug and dug. Found some really neat little things. Odd shapes, odd colors. It's kind of hard to see this one, I think. But that's actually a crystal. It just looks like a dirty rock. I don't know how to clean them. I don't want to ruin them trying to clean them. So here's another little piece. Some really nice... Man, I wish I had more knowledge of this stuff, but I will. By the end of this year, I'm sure I will. Some beautiful stuff. This, I don't know. It's, um, we found a huge chunk of it in a hole, and we were able to remove a lot of it. Don't know what it is. I really have no experience in this stuff, so I don't want to say silica. <laughs> I already said it. So, now this piece is really interesting. I really hope I get a good shot of this no idea what it is like most of this stuff beautiful it's just really really beautiful inside there man I hope this comes up clear on my camera this piece I found there's a little hole in the wall and I reached in you know there's spiders and snakes but I made sure there was no nothing alive in there and I reached in when I reached in I felt it like this on my fingertip when I pulled it out of the hole it's actually, it's translucent. I think that's the right word. It's kind of hard to, I need a proper light behind it. 
but it, the the rest of the hole contained kind of a almost a powder if you would like a wet powder in behind the white spot here and this is the only solid piece I was able to pull out so I don't know what this is and this one down over here is just a bunch of little crystals kind of nice I see these everywhere but down in this little box here there's this one here as well one solid crystal on there and it has a a nice golden hue too. I think a lot of the stuff is the same, but well, I hope my camera does this justice. And this piece here is a really nice big pieces of this whatever this crystal is. I'm not sure, but I'm sure uh, Michael will tell me. He give me an educated guess. So yeah, I'm gonna do a nice bike trip up north this summer. These are some of my finished jewels or finished gems. Let me see. Better in this light, I think. A couple of turquoise. Where are you? There you are. Not really doing a good job of this. <laughs> this is called um, malachite. It's not a really nice stone, this one here particularly. It's got some nice lines through it. It's really nice, but I found that malachite is actually one of my favorite new stones. So we'll see. Uh oh, the neighbor's air conditioner went off. Where are we going to get the flood of water today? Welcome to City Life. This is a piece of bicolored burl. Really nice. It's actually cut to fit a necklace. That's really nice. And I have some more burl too, but I don't. That's the only piece of uh, bicolored burl I have. A little bit of a and a small opal. Nice. I picked up a bunch of these little gemstones already cut out and everything on a really good deal. This is another piece of golden burl. Burl barrel. I hope I say it right. Come on, camera. Do me some help here. Maybe if I aim it down. Yeah, a little tough. I'm not really a, a what do you call it, a, a cameraman. So we'll see what else. Another piece of nice cut golden barrel. Barrel, barrel. I'm sure I'll learn how to say it correctly. And uh, yeah, some more things in there, but nothing much. Some silver, some gold. But these are the ones that really, really, really interest me. I was so proud of my son that he gave me these. Anyways, there you go. Heinrich OG. Check it out. And if you're out rock hounding, make sure you have permission to be on the property. Make sure that you wear safety glasses. And uh, just make sure you have fun. Don't expect to find diamonds or gold, but expect to have a good time. And it's just discovering whatever it is that you, uh, you locate. Do it safely. Have fun. And happy rock hounding.